A Midwest factory has been studying their costs and estimate the total cost for an upcoming production run can be modeled by C of X equals 39,000 plus 80X plus X cubed dollars. The total revenue from the sale of X units is R of X equals 3,680X dollars. Find the profit function and determine the level of production X that will maximize the profit of the factory. Well, I know that P of X, the profit, is equal to the revenue, R of X, minus the cost, C of X. The revenue function is 3,680X minus the cost, minus the cost. 39,000 plus 80x plus x cubed. Notice that I put that all in parentheses and I will distribute that negative to each term inside parentheses. After I've distributed the negative, I combine like terms. P of X now equals 3,600 X minus 39,000 minus X cubed. Now I just need to figure out where this thing is a maximum. Well, I'm just going to tell you right now the shape of a cubic. The cubic usually enters from the bottom left and leaves from the top right if it's positive. If it's a negative cubic, it starts in the top left and leaves from the bottom right. And since these are rather extreme cubics, it's going to do something like this. That's just a general shape of a cubic. The only place that is a maximum is over here in the first quadrant comes in from the top left, has a local minimum in the fourth quadrant, has a local maximum in the first quadrant, and then leaves, as x approaches positive infinity, the profit function decreases to negative infinity. This local maximum here in the first quadrant is what we are looking for. So we need to figure out what that coordinate point is. And this is not just a super easy thing to do. We have to get our calculator out, turn it on, go to graph, enter the graph for the profit function, which we said was 3600x minus 39 thousand minus x to the third. Now at this point you should be asking yourself, well why can't we use the vertex formula? Well the vertex formula will not work in this situation because it is not a quadratic, it is a cubic. I'm just going to graph it and see what happens. Notice it doesn't show me anything useful, nothing whatsoever. And that's because we do not have a big enough window right now to see everything. My y-intercept is at negative 39,000. So a standard window is certainly not going to show you anything of interest. We're way too zoomed in to see any of our graph. Let's make our x min be negative 100 and let our x max be positive 100. Let's let our y min be negative. Since the y intercept is at negative 39,000, let's make it negative 50,000. And our y max be positive 50,000. And graph that. Well, now we have something to see. Now, I just happened to luck out. We could have needed to zoom out further, 
but notice that I have in my screen what I need to find. I need to find this maximum right here. And so now I have enough of the window. I don't need the minimum down here. I just need this value right here. So use second, calc, maximum. Find the left bound. Find the right bound. Guess the maximum. And so my coordinate point is rounding to full units. The profit function is telling me that my maximum profit will happen when I'm producing 35 units. So the production level per week that results in maximum profit is 35. And it's asking what is the maximum profit? Well, that's 44,138. And we are going to have to round this. So 44,138 point, since this is money, we're going to round to 0.44, so 44 cents. So we have officially found the what we were looking for, the maximum on a cubic. So take a few minutes, work this question out with similar numbers, and confidently go through the process of modifying your calculator screen so that you can see a region and start moving your maxes and mins for x and y based on what you can see on the calculator screen.